hi guys welcome back to my channel so as promised today I'm going to be doing um, one of my wonderful wool hauls this is just a small haul of makeup items that I would have picked up at wonderful wool I wanted to share it with you guys because they're new items that I've tried out and that I really like some not so much some yeah um, so if you're new to the channel I am Mosai do not forget to hit the subscription button down below uh, if you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up, ask me any question you want to ask me regarding the, the items we would have discussed today in today's video, and let's head straight into the video. Okay, so to my new returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back, and um, Today it's wonderful. Beautiful. All right, so we're just going to be going through some of the items. Um, well, not some. We're going to be going through the items that I purchased. I would have used um the items to create this look today. So yeah, I really loved how some of them performed. They were really good, and I just want to share it with you guys so that you're not missing out on some really affordable, good items that they are available in. Um, so let's go. All right, so the first item, um, item I would have purchased would, would have been the Beauty Sponge and Stan Set Ensemble Sponge. Um, this would have been the out, the in, the out professional quality set, and I got it on sale at Wonderful World. It's for thirty five dollars. I would have a video up with the item. Um, I have not used a sponge in this. Um, I really wanted it for the little gold thing there that you see to rest the sponge in, especially for sponges that I'm the sponge that I'm using daily, whichever one it may be that can go inside there without getting mixed up with my stuff in my makeup drawer. So this is basically what I got it for. I thought it was a good deal to get the sponge and this because I was looking at it online to bring in. Um, what kind of sweet me is the cost of shipping something as simple as this if I can get it here so yeah um, this was the first item I got at wonderful Will you can check it out if they have any more I'm not sure Milani face powder it's on sale for 45 TT I got this one because I really wanted to try some Milani products and I have to say the face powder really went on perfectly um, it applied really good to the skin it didn't dry off my under eye area I didn't use much because I don't really bake my face as much as before. I find for me baking sometimes dries out my skin. So I just go with applying the makeup onto the skin um, without the baking. And the powder then apply absolutely gorgeous. There's no mirror on the inside. Um, it just, oh, what am I saying? There is a mirror. So it comes with the mirror at the bottom of the powder as they usually do now. And you get this little Milani. Um, applicator I am sweating because I have to take off my EC it's like making a lot of noise um yeah so this is the face powder it really is good I got my own in medium tan you know guys I like to use my products for a few days before I come on and you know show you guys what I got so at least I can give you my honest feedback on what I think about it this is a really good find. It's it's really good, as good as the elegant press powder that I is has been my go-to powder because of the fact that it's not drying out my skin and it applies really good on concealer. I got me Talking the Milani Retouch and Erase Lightning Light Lifting Concealer. This is really good. Like what? Uh, I'll have the cost of the items up on the screen if I didn't if I don't mention it. And it's because I don't have the price listing in front of me. I got this in Honey 05. It dries down amazing. It's like when you apply it and you blend it out and you leave it to dry a little bit on the eye, it does brighten the face. This looks so good and flawless. It fulfills in the little fine lines you may have under your eye. I don't really have much, but I do have a little and it fills in the pores. This is so good though. But the Milani primer that I used to it does fill in the pores as well. So it, it doesn't ha it didn't have much to do here just to apply under the eye area here. Um I don't have under eye bags, but my god, this thing is really good. Retouch and erase. Watch now. I never knew this concealer was so good though. And um it comes with a little spongy applicator, so when you squeeze it out. You'll see the little spongy applicator there and you puff that onto the face and it applies really nicely. 
so if uh, you and I have the same skin complexion it goes you can try honey 05 it's really really good for under the eye I, I have to say I really 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 like that I, I got me some Milani lipsticks if I can find them in uh, these are the Milani lipsticks these are what it comes in what it looks like they are so cute I love the casing for them though it's really really cute um, so I got it in Milani 60 matte innocence the 75 matte lux and the Tuscan uh, 40 toast they are really really good lipsticks as I show you I'll have pictures up of them so you'll see what they are they are some good lipsticks so if you're looking for affordable lipsticks um, you can check it I think I paid $17 for one they are smooth and silky and they dry down matte watch now <laughs> the next one I would have used would be the matte um, flat finish pigment gloss by LA Girl which is this I would have made a purchase of this one previously but um, I needed a red which is what I have to do on my lips I'll also have a clip of it up for you guys to see um, and I also did swatches the this is really nice it dries down on the lip really really matte so just keep that in mind like really matte it dries down However, on top of the lip, I did go in with the Milani uh, 60 Matte Innocence. And this is how I created this sort of ombre look on my lip. Um, on my lips, this is really good. I have been sleeping on these products. If you're looking for affordable lipsticks, if uh, for some strange reason you cannot have 40, 60 something, only 70 something dollar lipsticks, these lipsticks are amazing and they do last long on the lip. They don't... Um, transfer off of your lip onto your face going home some lipsticks would tend to do that sometimes and I have not experienced that however if you're if you're applying it I would recommend that you use a lip pencil to line the, uh, the area of the lip which would allow the, the lipstick to stay on your lips a little longer and avoid the transfer the next I got would be the absolute New York ink pen this is really good too. It's so dark and nice. As I said, I'll have a video up. It, um, it's not really pointy pointy, but it really does work good for me when I have to create my wing liners. And it's really dark and that is what I've been looking for. I didn't get that from the e.l.f. liquid liner because it was kind of grayish tone. This one is full on black, like full on black. And um, I enjoyed it because of that. Um, yeah. I like it. The other one would be the Elegal Brow Pomade and I got this in dark brown in which I did use on my brows tonight. I'll also have a picture of you guys to see. Um, I always go for my Elegal Brow Pomade. I'm sorry. This is my go-to. This is it works it lasts during the course of the day. I don't need anything more expensive than this. It applies perfectly onto the eyes and once my eyebrow don't play the fool with me I like always go back to this <laughs> the next would be the Milani eyeshadow primer watch why didn't somebody tell me this eyeshadow primer was so good I use this eyeshadow primer today to create this look on my eye it made the colors really pop I didn't have any issues blending out my eyeshadow um, it was it just applied really smooth onto the eyelid it's not um, chalky. I have some concealer on my hands, so forgive me there. So it's not chalky. I don't want to waste my thing here. You see, it's not chalky or anything. It has a kind of greasy feel, but it's moist. So, and then it dries down, but it doesn't dry down matte. And it allows the eyeshadows to really pop. I wish somebody had told me Milani eyeshadow primer was so good. Like, what? Uh, what and I've been looking for eyeshadow primers like crazy that would look that would work well with my eyeshadows and I would highly recommend that Milani primer um, eyeshadow primer listen listen the stars of the shows the style of the shows that Milani eyeshadow primer like don't sleep on it you may apply to the eye eyelid and you may find that it's sticky and it's a little tacky that's okay it dries down really good just give it a few seconds to dry down and then apply your eyeshadow on top of it even if it starts to get translucent as you would see here don't worry don't think you need to apply more on the lid in order for your eyeshadow to pop you you don't need to do that just this 
thin layer and you put your eyeshadow on top of that and that thing like you could see for yourself you see my eyes how they look it's like why y'all didn't tell me why <laughs> so yeah so those are some of the items i'll check in to see if i forgot anything oh yeah i got me the milani um eyebrow pencil it's a retractable pencil i didn't like this one i think i got the color too light um that was the only issue because it was too light it was a kind of grayish the brown was just really dead i didn't like it for that but it did draw perfect on the brow though so what i found um because of the elf eyeshadow pencil that i got previously um I found it was a little light so when I drew on with this I just went with that and then I realized hey I'm wasting time just use the elegant pomade after I, I kind of draw the brow in and it worked perfectly fine so the only thing for me as well is that the bristles in the brush in the back really stiff like real stiff like scrubbing brush stiff I don't know why the bristles to the back of this thing was so stiff I don't know if it's because it's new it like real hard like if you have some thick bushy brows and they do like to move this would be the best thing for you but for me who hardly have any this was like real scraping my eyebrow like real scraping them if you're into the scrubbing rush mints you can probably look for use that but i'm not going to be repurchasing that one that one was a no-no for me but everything else from milani the concealer the primer the powder and the lipsticks my god these things are the bomb. So I guess at the end of the month, I'm going to try out some other new products for you guys and give you guys my feedback on what I think about them. If it's worth trying. If it's worth the dollars. Yes. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be trying out new makeup items, new affordable drugstore makeup items that, you know, we can probably, you know, try out. We always have something to Sasha, the... Ellie girl, let's try some other stuff. Ellie Colors has some really good stuff. Milani has some good stuff. Um, Kiss, what is this one? This is the Absolute New York has some good stuff. Kiss Beauty has some really good stuff. So I'm going to check them out, test it out, let you guys know. And yeah, Ugh, the security thing is really tripping me off sometimes. And give you guys my feedback and then we're going to know whether or not we're going to be buying them things. So guys, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Oh, that security thing. Gonna see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for all of you who have reached out to me um, in my community post. I wasn't well for the past few days. I'm only now feeling a little better. Not 100% there. But we got to have a video up for you guys to see. So this one is going to be a late video. Hopefully by 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock in the morning probably might be up. But I'm going to have back to back videos to make up for Friday and today. So yeah. I'm going to have another video. It will be my Bath & Body with Candles video. So look out for that. Uh, my favorite Bath & Body with Candles video. So yeah. And my favorite Bath & Body Works products. Um, a new updated list of favorites. So stay tuned for that one guys. See you in the next one. Love you.